All right, so if you watched the rod building video, you saw that I caught that spotted bass at the end of the video. If you have not seen that, I will link it in the description. Go back and watch that video first because this is a continuation of that day, but this is the rest of the day, us catching a bunch of spotted bass. Also went to another lake yesterday, so went ahead and added that in to the end of it because I only caught one fish, so just jump right into it right where we left off last time and enjoy the video. This is a spotted bass waylay, so pretty fun to catch this many off the bank. All right, check it out. We at the river now. Black and blue jig. My brand new jig rod. It ain't, I got out here in the light. I can tell where I messed up at. It ain't that pretty, but I'll be using it. Throws really good. Good and two. There we go. First fish on the new rod. <laughs> Big old spot. Heck yeah. Didn't even take that long. Pretty spot. Look at that thing. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful fish. It was right there in that eddy. I pitched up to the current scene, pulled it out a little bit, and thunk. That was awesome. <laughs> As y'all can see, I don't know if y'all can see that, but right out there, the current's coming down, and there's slack water right here. And all I did was just pitch right up to the edge of it, about just like that right there. Went to the bottom, hopped it a couple times, and a oh, spotted bass picked it up. Got one? Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Another spotted bass. That's a good one. Good God, you know they think if you caught one. <laughs> they in here, he caught one. No, I'm just kidding. They like that jig, don't they? Spotted bass. Dude, the spots are showing up today. I'm just playing him longer than normal trying to see how it loads. Spots are showing up. Oh my goodness, he's chunky too. Pretty good spots. Man. Yeah, they're good spots. Last time we came up here, we didn't catch spots. We caught largemouth. Today, three spots so far. We ain't done. Dude, these are fun. I do have a special place in my heart for spotted bass. I do like them. I avoid them on tournament days, but I like them. These are not the Coosa River spots y'all saw me catching last time. These are actual Kentuckys. I'm pretty sure they are at least, but that's a pretty dang good one, fat one. Look at this rod smelling like fish in a couple more minutes. Had to get another speed crawl on this thing. That last little spot took it from me. So let's go over here and catch us another one. large mouth first large mouth of the day yeah I missed him then I caught him 14 incher he's fat though just trekked across to the other side still throwing my old trusty jig see if we can come catch Man, this rod feels good. Pretty old spotted bass. Man, this is fun. 
jig, bank fishing, custom rod, high speed reel, don't get no better than that. These things are so white in this stained water and so fat. Look at that spot, dude, holy crap. I love it. <clears throat> Both the largemouth I've caught today have been tiny and the spots are actually pretty nice. What's up with that? Little bitty old largemouth. Little bitty spot. They're getting smaller and smaller, seems like. I watched him pretty much eat it. Ten incher. Oh, that's a big one. Gotta be. Nope. It's in that current. Another nice little spot there. Walked the other way, all the way up here just for that one. Pretty one. Saw the white. I got the sun on. Beautiful little fish. Little mouth. Healthy, healthy spotted bass in this river. This is awesome. Busted. Walking out now. Gotta say, this thing right here, I liked it. I'm obviously partial to it because I did put all the labor into it, but. Suckers light. I don't know what uh, most other rod companies' weights are, but I think they try to, they strive to be around four ounces of this same rod. And I think we shaved a little off of that. But anyways, super sensitive rod. Cash really well, loads really well. Super happy with it, but obviously, like I said, I am very partial to it. So broke my jig off, as you could just see. We are done for the day. Bent my new rod six or seven times the first day I got it done. So. Pretty good to catch that many fish on a rod. Hopefully this thing stays this lucky and I catch six or seven on it every single day the rest of the year. So appreciate you guys watching. If you like that video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. Try my best to reach back out to all of y'all who make a comment. So I see the same guys in there all the time. I appreciate it. See y'all. Then came to a little uh, public lake here in Collierville, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, somewhere around here. Herb Parsons Lake. See if we can catch us a big one out of here, right before dark. I ain't swimming it up. Looked like about a 12 incher. Came up, made on it. Tried to, anyways. Came back and got him. I missed him about 10 minutes ago. Walked back over there, first cast. He had set back up. He's a 14 incher. I thought he was a 12 incher. No, he's probably a 13 incher. I called him a 12 though. He set back up. <laughs> 